What up, YouTube? Welcome back for episode three of Planet Coaster. So we have a new challenge on the board. We have build a coaster at least 500 meters long, which I believe this should break that. I think this is good enough for that. So once we finish this up, we'll get a nice challenge reward and some more money. So without further ado, let's go. Um, what do we want to work on right off the bat? I do want to change the color scheme of this because it doesn't fit, so we'll do that really fast. Go ahead and change that green to a nice blue, and I think other than that it looks great. So we'll keep that there. Um, people are coming in. It looks like our rating went down a bit, which I think is interesting. I thought it was around like 300 something last time. Maybe not, but we could improve our scenery rating. We can throw some some small little things along here. Actually, you know what we should do? Is we're gonna build that pavilion I was talking about. So we're gonna actually delete that. Make this a straight shot right there. Cause I don't like the little curve, like, like what happened here, these little things, I don't really like that. Make a nice straight shoot this way. So let's see, if we go like this, I think right right there would be good so we're just gonna go up like a little bit more and then what I want to do is take the width make it really wide so we're actually gonna go oh crap this costs a lot of money maybe we don't do that today I guess yeah if, if it does cost a lot of money it might not be worth it in the short term also, I don't know if this costs anything to test. We're just going to close it for now. But yeah, alright, so... We got all this stuff. I'm going to fast forward. As long as we're profitable. It looks like we're just like teetering on the edge of profitable. If we go to park management. People still... I don't know what our janitors are doing. We got three of them. They really should get better at cleaning the park up uh, so we're really not making money that quickly we've kind of tapered off I think this is okay so this is park rating the blue yeah so we did drop we're at 288 previously around like 330 so something happened uh, what, so the main thoughts people were having the sick wish there were more rides Insanity 1 is so expensive so I really don't understand what our janitors are doing I think I'm gonna take one of the janitors so you can make them stick around one area like kind of stay so I think I'm gonna assign them to a spot so we're gonna say that coaster in this one so did not mean to do that so we're gonna save this first guy oh so we have to assign this to a member so I think if we sign Hosea Stokes to the new roster he'll patrol these two then we can take the other guy or one of the other guys to patrol this ride in maybe the bathroom and then the other guy can do the rest I think that would be a good way to do it also our rating just shot up I don't know how but I'll take it so we're gonna go ahead and make another roster so we're gonna go ahead and take this ride and the bathrooms you know what? we're just gonna have one guy on these so the bathrooms the two food and drink places in this ride this will be entrance so we're gonna save that as the work roster and then the third guy can just roam so we'll have Linwood will be on entrance cleanup this guy will free roam and that guy will be on the two rides and I think that should really help too many guests are trying to use those stores again well you know what I don't see anyone in front of here is it because our vendor, our vendor, oh, here he's back. Okay. 
That's fine. I'll take that. Um, $340. I think we just got him. I really, if we could start a marketing campaign, let's try to attract more teenagers. So we're going to, we're going to let this run. This should, it's going to cost us some money, but it should really bring in a bunch of people, especially in the meantime, while we're waiting for, or while we're trying to just build up the money to get the coaster going. These two rides are also killing it. Well, this one has not many people in line. I don't know if it's the price. Insanity is so expensive. So, yeah, $18 might be excessive. We're going to go back down to 13 And now, because now we have like three pretty affordable rides. We got 13 12 and 11 which explains why this line is ridiculous. But we're really just trying to get them to spend their money. Uh, let's see. So, on average, it looks like guests spend about $30. So, they're not really buying food much. The family groups do. But, yeah, they all spend about the same. Cool. So, we got the janitors figured out. We got the guests somewhat happy spending money. Alright, so we're making profit too. Increasing. I think as we get more people coming in, like... Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, this guy's running. She's running in. She can't even wait another second. This is what we need. Tons of people. I bet this is like the marketing helping out. So many people want to come here. Love to see it. I really just want to jack this price up to like $300 and see if they keep coming through. But I don't think it works like that. So that's fine though. Oh, we got a lifetime amount of visitors over a thousand. Look at that. Such a small park. So many dreams. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to think what we can work on. I mean, we can build like one more track to this. That's not really worth it. I think we can. I mean, the loans are coming up kind of fast. If we could just take out the $10,000 loan again, that'd be sweet. But I think I want to look. So, park management last month. The loan monthly payments are really high. So, what we actually could do is we're going to take the monthly payment and really drop it down. Because if you look, the amount of interest, like we said, you really don't pay that much. So it don't really matter how much you're paying back per month. And if that actually really helped. We're, we're making a lot of money. So in the meantime, as long as nothing crazy, we need another vendor. That's fine, I'll throw one down. Oh yeah, look at how much money we're making now. This is great. So with that, we definitely can get this like almost close to done if we really wanted to. So we'll just kind of, let's see, we're going to tilt just like that, do a nice sharp turn, oh my god. I can't believe how much each piece of this track costs. We're gonna drop right as low as we can go. And then if we tilt it like that. Oh, it's not based on money. Why is it why is it being like this? Is that too low to them? Maybe? I'm confused as to why it does not let me do this. Maybe we're going to back out, make this a little tighter of a turn. And then...
I don't understand. I do not understand. Let's try going backwards. What happens if I hit auto complete? Okay, so that's kind of what we want. Auto complete failed though. So actually, let's. We're gonna back off. Let's back this up a little bit. We're definitely gonna want brakes on here. Insufficient funds. How? Seven hundred bucks is not enough to put brakes there. That's interesting. Okay. We can really so we're gonna stop it quick there. Really slam on the brakes, and then we'll have it turn in towards the station because I think it's getting too close to the other ride. So if we tilt back out, that's about as low as we can go. And for some reason, again, it's not letting us go right here. Unless this is just money again. Wow, that's a terrible tilt. <clears throat> I just do not understand what's happening. I don't know if it's something I'm missing. Like the track was able to go out there, so it's not the edge. Unless, maybe, okay, just wanted to work there. Let's see how close. It's something weird going on. Can we go down? No. Okay, we're putting that there. Is it too close to this ride, maybe? That would be disappointing because, like, it's kind of crucial that this goes right by it. So what if we go, we could try to just snake it over. I wish it would tell me why autocomplete was failing. We need to rethink all this. I'm wasting so much money on this whole back and forth deal going on. Also, where's the exact edge? Oh, it's right there. I see it now. So we don't really have much room. I mean, I guess we could try backing all the way up. Having this go like that. And then as sharp as we can go like that, right over the turn cell to get in, autocomplete, and it failed again, what is happening, okay, what happens if we start over here, oh, we have a ride broken down, and we don't have a mechanic for it, well now's a good time, actually, we can move this, we're gonna go ahead and move it up, Maybe that'll give us some more room with the coaster. But we should buy it, get a mechanic as fast as possible. Because we're really far. Yeah, we're in the we're in the negative. Just a bit. Alright, so we're gonna throw him down right at the exit. And let him do his thing. Hopefully this doesn't hurt us too bad. That's definitely not great. What is this? Oh, are these all the people from the queue? I was like, holy crap. Alright, looks like they're all staying, which is good. Love to see that. This janitor's just moping along. He's on strike, actually. Well, that's good. You yeah, know, $25 per month. How about that? So this guy needs to fix this ride ASAP. This coaster really is killing me. It was so close to being done, I thought we were going to have it. And now, it's just not. Hmm. I think this might have been too close, so maybe moving it gave us a little more room. Our marketing campaign is done. 
this ride's still broken down. Oh, is it? Oh, it's it's good to go. Let's open it. Get people riding. If we can get people back on that, that'll bring us in some money real quick. You can already see we're we're getting back to it. I think that was our first month in the negative in a while too. We look. Oh, we profited. We profited, I think, every month. At least that I can remember. So that's good. All right. We're almost in the positive again. And then we can get working. Just gonna fast forward. <clears throat> Alright, so we're almost back in the positive. I guess our thinking. Okay, they stepped in the sickness again. Maybe it's because we're paying our workers so low. So let's check out the janitors. Yeah, they're not happy at all. So we're going to boost up these two to 60. And see what happens with that. This guy's like not even working because he's mad. So hopefully this will get him to work a little harder. I mean, they got a nice place to work here. Nice staff building. There's two people resting in there right now. So, yeah. I don't know. It'll pull back together. They just gotta clean up the park a little more. I'm not hiring another janitor. I think that's excessive, this heaven. Like, for how small this is, I think three is good. Yeah, see, he's not happy. He's going to the staff building. Hmm. Multiple staff members have quit. Okay, so they quit. So that means we'll just rehire them. Or rehire different ones. So we're going to go ahead and throw a janitor down. He's got all new morale. And where is he? We're going to assign him to these two rides here. Our mechanic quit as well. We're just going to throw him. Throw a new one down. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. He's all ready to clean up some vomit. He's excited. Look at that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. And we're in the positive again. Almost done with the coaster. I'm just going to click on it and see if autocomplete will work now that we've moved. Autocomplete failed. There's something here that I'm not seeing. Okay, so insufficient funds to build this, but it's not saying obstructed or anything. do this still insufficient funds but not obstructed so we're gonna put the track down and then edit it after because for whatever reason something's being weird so we're gonna wait for it wait for us to get some money everybody's holy crap the line for this um, we're going to increase the price of this one because the queue is full. We're going to go 15 bucks. This one, the queue is almost full too. This is, I mean, it's great to see everyone riding them, but I'm trying to maximize some profit here. Here he goes. Off to clean some more puke. Okay. I think I think this is good. I think we're making enough money here or there. We're like
like right under $270, which is what we need. I wonder if I fast forward, if that's going to help or hurt. Okay. We built it. So if I click, it's just insufficient funds again. Our rating's at 300. I wonder if that's too early to charge people to get in. Honestly, no, that's fine. What happens if I do this? Insufficient funds. But it doesn't say I can't do it. Yeah, hold on. What if auto, auto complete is just failing because I don't have enough money? Because this says if I have $647, I can do it. So I'm going to wait until that happens and just go for it. This is actually kind of cool to watch. All these people going in and out of the ride. As this, these ones are still still filling up even though the prices went up, which is great. Okay. What? Am I not supposed to build over the entrance? Is that, is that what's going on? Because I was able to do it before. So it's not telling me. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I'm going to have it go and loop kind of like this. Of course, I'm out of money. That's fine because I can just delete those. this kind of loop around a little higher all right I think we're getting really close now we just need a little bit more money to roll in I throw that there we're definitely gonna have to smooth out some of these banks because this is a little a little messy but I'm excited this is almost it oh come on come on sweet all right, we got all the track down. Now with that done, now we can just tilt this a little bit. Nope, the other way. Yeah, these are, I'm gonna just try smoothing this out. Okay, thanks, that's smooth, this one. Smooth out. It's definitely gonna rip people around this a little bit, but okay, that's a little. I like that. Let's smooth out. We do need to look into brakes too, because right now people are gonna be going into the station at like 100 miles an hour. Probably not the best. So if we throw, if we can put like some nice friction brakes down and some trim brakes. Okay, let's start the test. It's gonna go up and around. This looks really cool. So you first turn right, then you do the big left bank turn. And you go for the little dragon. The dragon swoops. Up over this one. I wanna see how much speed we're getting. Okay, so it's gonna slow way down. Oh, that's way too slow. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Let's change this to trim brakes. Let's stop test and start test. We'll have it zoom through the beginning. Okay. Have it slow. Okay, so it'll slow it down. That's still way too slow, I think. So maybe we just don't do the brakes. Or can we make them? We have a target speed of like 40 miles an hour. Let's try that. Stop test, start test. Go. Oh crap, we're not ready. Okay, so it's slows it down. 
Yeah, it's going like 37 miles an hour. Let's just go over this little hump. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That goes into the station. Comes to a stop. I think we're good. I think we are good to go. And look at those test ratings. We got all green on our first coaster. That's unreal. I'm so excited for this. Place the exit over here. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I'm actually, I wanna take it. We gotta do our inaugural ride. So now that this is done, actually we'll do the we'll do the inaugural test ride. How about that? So let's get the queue. We're gonna want probably a decent zigzag of the queue here. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna want to use it. And we go like that. Perfect. Whoa, we don't want that. Nope, absolutely not. Now, let's go ahead and make this not that big. Perfect. It's still is big, but it's fine. Oh, look at that. Fits like a glove. All right, last thing we gotta do is we gotta we gotta ride it. Let's go on the inaugural ride. Let's see. I'm curious how smooth it is. Can you look around? No, you can't really look around. Here we go. First big drop. For, oh, what am I doing? Back on. Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I like that. Get a nice view of the park. Ooh, I want to put some scenery on this, on those little, little drops into the ground. It breaks twice. You could probably, we could probably get away with breaking just once. But you know the ratings are good. We're gonna let it stay. I think that's great. We gotta name it now, though. Rage one. How about the dragons? Rage. There we go. All right, let's open. How much are we charging now? We're charging 20 bucks. 20 bucks a person. This is gonna be great. <clears throat> We're up to $1,300 too. Well, as these people roll in, I think this is a good place to stop episode three. We got the Dragon's Rage all completed. Looks really cool. I think this will be a great like opening little piece. And these people get to walk in and watch as it goes right over. And who wouldn't want to be excited to ride this if you see it fly by? Well, anyways, that's it for episode three.